for adding a yard drain there's some areas that just pull water so what the guys are going to do they're going to put in one of our six inch basins with our 12 by 12 turf restrictor plate and a six inch look at that that is just insane this six inch has more inlet than any other six inch on the market you're not going to top this it's ridiculous it's like there's nothing there this is slightly domed so when leaves fall on it they can't plug it and it can still take in the water we have our perforated three and a half inch for our french drain system guys are starting to pull all the plumbing through they're going to start assembling the yard drain system so the guys are going to have a solid pipe inside the french drain this is going to be for the yard drain you guys snapped it onto one of our three and a half inch catch basins we got a lot of bulk water in here so we want to make sure we can get that bulk water out of here fast we're running another solid three and a half to another catch basin if you have a lot of bulk water ponding pooling just giant areas of standing water. Right in the center of that, put a catch basin or two. We had a bunch of water sitting here. We have a basin. We had a bunch of water that sits there. We have a basin. Don't ask your French drain to take in a giant area of ponding, pooling water. It can. It's really meant for the subsurface, and it will do some surface water. But when it's extreme, you need to do a yard drain inside your French drain, just like you see the guys doing it right here.